Good evening and thanks for joining us. I am not in the studio at the moment because I've just returned from covering the presidential election in the U.S. and I'm quarantining for the next two weeks. So there is no crew with me and the set looks a bit rudimentary, but we're going to carry on with the news. And we begin tonight with what could be a first step out of all the restrictions we are living under. A vaccine developed by the companies Pfizer and BioNTech has shown early promise. Preliminary results show it is more than 90% effective at protecting people from COVID-19. Experts do caution the human clinical trials are still underway and more data is needed. But today's news is fueling hopes a coronavirus vaccine could be within reach. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. We are hopeful we are getting there because our scientists are working incredibly hard. The Pfizer vaccine is one of 11 candidates in late-stage phase three trials. It enrolled nearly 44,000 participants in six countries and raised no safety concerns. Half the group received two doses of the vaccine. The other half got a placebo. 94 of the participants have developed COVID-19. It's believed most of them were in the placebo group. That does not mean this vaccine is approved for use yet. More work needs to be done, but no vaccine has gone from the drawing board to showing signs of promise in such a short period of time. Abigail Beeman has our top story tonight. A great day for science. It is a great day for humanity. Pfizer's CEO says he felt overwhelmed to learn of the 90% effectiveness rate. I believe this is likely the most significant medical advance in the last 100 years. We were thinking 50% would be okay, 9% is extraordinary. Keep in mind that the seasonal flu would get anywhere between 40 and 70% effectiveness. Experts say we still need a lot more information. The trial isn't complete yet. The side effect profile, we don't have long-term data, we don't have demographic data. So we certainly need to hear much more about this. But this is really the first that we've heard of some significant successes in a phase three clinical trial. That's how we'll get through this winter to a spring and a summer that will be much better. I promise. The prime minister stressing COVID precautions are key now when a vaccine can't help. And when it can, Canada has secured at least 20 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Beginning distribution in Canada to uh, high priority groups. That is uh, most likely to happen in Q1 or in the first three months of 2021. But of course, uh, there is a lot of uncertainty. The United Kingdom and U.S. are talking about rollout before the end of this year. Canada isn't offering more specifics, but it is preparing. The Pfizer vaccine needs to be kept very cold. We have minus 80 degree freezers and we know how to make more minus 80 degree freezers and we have the capacity to do this. It also requires two doses. With the number of vaccines that, that are still going through clinical trials as well as those that are in preclinical development, um, we still have a real shot or a feasible shot of getting to a single shot vaccine. As for the Pfizer vaccine, it's now weeks away from FDA approval in the United States. But getting the emergency use authorization it's looking for won't be a green light for us in Canada. Health Canada will be making its own decision on this and any other vaccine. Donna? Abigail Beeman in Ottawa, thank you. After so many gloomy months, today's promising news injected some optimism into the markets. Some of the big winners were travel companies and airlines. Air Canada's shares jumped more than 25%. American Airlines gained 15%. And cruise company Carnival saw its stock surge 39%.